hey guys hello and welcome back in this video we are going to discuss on baseline correction and peak detection in matlab if you are new here make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of my new videos with that being said let's get started so we have this data in txt format so let's import and plot it so let's create a new script So let's plot it. So as you can see, this is how the graph looks like. Now, as you can see that the baseline is not flat. Ideally, the baseline should be flat. This is called baseline correction. Now, if you draw a straight line like this, so if you draw a straight line like this, you can see that the straight line straight line covers more or less the center of each peaks so now if you draw a straight line and then subtract this line from the original data the baseline will be corrected so ideally base light correction means to make this flat next axis so now in matlab there is an inbuilt function which does this so it is called dtrend y comma n so this removes the n degree polynomial trade for our case n equals 1 let's call the corrected y as y new so now let's plot the original data and the baseline corrected data together So now let's plot it. As you can see, so this blue curve is the original data and this red curve is the baseline corrected data. Well, this looks good. So this is a simple technique which you can use to correct the baseline of any oscillatory function. So now let's find the peaks. So we're going to use find picks command, which is a MATLAB defaults command to find the picks. So what this will do is that it will find the picks. It will find the picks in Y and also record the values of x at which the peaks appear so now let's plot the peaks and label them So as you can see, we have five different picks and these are how it is leveled. Now, 
so as you can see you have five different picks which is labeled here now using this simple technique you can find the number of picks now you can also find the period of oscillation or the frequency so let's assume this waveform has a single period so the distance between 3 and 4 let's say is the is the period of oscillation so we can calculate the distance So this is the period of oscillation now you can you can find the frequency so the frequency is this is the frequency is one of the period so this is the frequency of oscillation by this simple technique you can find the number of peaks you can find the number of peaks you can find the period of oscillation you can also find the frequency of oscillation now you can also choose the minimum peak distance for instance okay so now as you can see it has only found four peaks because i have given the minimum peak distance 0.5 so thus the first peak is this one and the second peak is this one because the distance between this and this peak is less than 0.5 so in this way you can use this inbuilt command of matlab to find the peaks that's all for this video thank you for watching